the stuff you hear in the beginning of the YouTube video because I'm not exactly sure when I start streaming. It'll tell me in just a second. Uh, hello and welcome to the stream. I am apparently streaming now. My stream looks terrible though, uh, but that may just be the fact that my stream looks terrible. Let me quickly check OBS to make sure that it, yeah, I mean, it's supposed to look terrible. I, I, that's just life, basically. All right, hello and welcome to the stream. Today we're going to uh, go into some extreme uh, masturbation, but not the kind that's interesting. And I am screen sharing, so you'd only hear it. And I've been told it doesn't sound good, uh, along with the... Uh, you know, with the email saying that, and I don't want to see you again. So that that's not what we're going to be doing. Uh, what we are going to be doing, though, is we're going to be looking at some of my older streams, and I'm going to try to um, put descriptions on them, and I'm going to try to do this in, an, uh, in a fairly um, efficient-ish way. Uh, one, meaning I'm not going to watch my own streams, which I recommend no one does, of course. Um, and also we're going to try to find some uh, better thumbnails for YouTube. YouTube uh, randomly or through some process chooses thumbnails that aren't very good, uh, I would like to choose my own not very good thumbnails for YouTube. So we're going to be doing descriptions. Uh, I think I'm going to put a note here that I forgot to put down. Uh, Twitch. Every Twitch stream uh, that's recorded at least, that, that's uh, vi video on demand, uh, has a number. I, I think maybe every Twitch stream, even the ones that aren't video on demand, have numbers. But And there's really no point in uh, linking to them because they go away after 14 days. But I do want to sort of put that number in there because I like uh, putting numbers into stuff. I did also look into whether I could get a custom domain for GitHub pages uh, so that instead of managing that sort of sub page through Google Pages or whatever they call it, um, I could manage my own domain. And of course, I could either create a domain, but more likely I will just use one of the domains I already have that I don't use, uh, which, which will take some time. Uh, and I know you don't care, which is why I'm telling you this, uh, some of you think that maybe I stream because I'm really bored, which I do. Uh, but just so you know, there's actually other stuff that, that's boring, but that I have to do that I'm avoiding to stream. So this is this stream sort of is helping me avoid setting the clocks for today because today, uh, the United States at least, goes on daylight saving time. And my computer clock, uh, uh, you know, updated automatically. It is 1.13 p.m. here. All my other clocks still read 12.13 p.m. Uh, so I do need to fix that. We are now uh, UTC minus 0600. Uh, I do have some uh, problems with my credit card stuff. It's not a big deal, but I do need to settle it. Uh, and I avoid it. And if I avoid it long enough, I'm not going to be able to settle it, which means I'll lose money. Uh, got to do some laundry, which, uh, you know, got to do laundry. Grocery shopping, which I do online, but I'm not even doing that to, uh, to be here with you guys. I know, it's not, it's not a, it's not a um, sacrifice. It's an avoidance. And my beard has now, which is actually pretty good most of the time, um, has now grown to where there's stuff crawling around in it that, you know, not, and not the normal stuff that crawls around in it, but some foreign stuff that's uh, crawling around in it, so I do, I do need to look at that. Uh, or, right now I'm avoiding doing that. Uh, so that is, that is nice. It is getting to be warmer, so at some point I could either crank the air conditioning, which I might do, or more, uh, it's not really that warm in Albuquerque yet, but uh, shaving the monstrous beard would be part of the cooling procedure. Okay, so what I've done now is I've gone ahead and instead of trying to create a separate directory, I've gone ahead and linked uh, the YouTube uh, videos directory to this one, and that was really not helpful. I mean, that what I just did wasn't really helpful. So here you can see these are all of my um, all of my streams in MKV and MP4 format. Um, I guess I haven't really looked at them because I usually try to convert MKV to MP4, but that's not going to matter for this because what we want to do now is we want to create, here's how we're going to do our magic. Um, we're going to, you know, and, and this is this is something where I get to advertise another one of my pages, which is free, so it doesn't really help you. Um, it doesn't really help me, I mean, but I will show you what I've done before, and this is not what we're going to be doing today, but it, it has some vague... Uh, vague relevance. Uh, no, I probably need to go to my own studio here uh, to what we're doing today. Oh, I keep forgetting. This is I'm not logged in as myself. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the Barry Carter. Because uh, that's my name on YouTube. Um, I remember, it's actually really, really, and I do want to look for the Barry Carter. That's 
Okay, and this actually is a, is a link that goes directly there. You probably won't be able to see it because um, of the frame uh, issues, because you have, uh, uh, because uh, my frame speed is way too slow for you to see this, but it's cool. I'll go full screen here briefly. Um, what you're not seeing here, what you're seeing very partially here, is 24 episodes of The Muppet Show, uh, but I've only taken one frame from each second, so you're essentially getting this at 24 times the regular speed. What use is this? Uh, absolutely none whatsoever. I mean, this, this could be one of the more most useless things I've ever done. It's not, but it could be. However, a variant of this, uh, and I'm just going to talk over these damn Muppets, uh, a variant of this, and actually it's too distracting, sorry. A variant of this could help us, and what we want to do here is, from my stream, we want to take every, like, nth, um, let me just go to this page, sorry. Uh, we can take, like, every nth second or every nth frame, look at those, and try to get an idea of what I'm doing, and when I stop doing one thing and doing another thing. And the problem, of course, is how, which frames, how many frames do you want to take? Taking one frame a second would be excessive because it would mean looking at 70, you know, 3,600 frames per hour of broadcast, 7,200 frames uh, per, you know, per average size video for me, although some of my videos have gone to four hours. Uh, so that's not what we want to do. Uh, it, there's also some issues here in the fact that sometimes I'll just freeze on a page and start talking about stuff, and obviously that's not going to show up in the thumbnails. The ideal way to fix that is to marry the thumbnails to the... Uh, uh, to the uh, subtitles, so I could see not only you know what the screenshot is showing, but also what I was saying at the time. Um, there might be a way of actually doing that, but that is like a, a magnitude of order harder. Um, so the other possibility is to just uh, do one frame per uh, one snapshot per minute. That's very easy to go through. That might be not enough though. Um, I mean, it should be, but it might not be. I don't, I don't really know the answer to this question. So the answer I'm sort of making up is we're going to do a frame every 10 seconds and see how well that works. Uh, so the part one of our magic is we want to extract one frame every 10 seconds from these YouTube videos. Now, I'm pretty sure these YouTube videos are 24 frames per second, and if they're not, they're, they're close enough uh, that it wouldn't matter, but... Just for fun, we're going to use the command exif info to look at these videos and see what we can find out about them, except for the fact that I, the moment I was saying it, I kind of knew I didn't have X info installed on this machine. Okay, so now we can go over still here, sudo yum search exif info, and I don't know if we'll actually, um, yeah. So if you can't find something in yum, this is a nice feature called what provides, I think there might also be what gives will tell you in which uh, repository you can find xinfo, uh, ex a uh, given file, or if it's anything like uh, like the way I've got this set up, give you uh, horrendous screenfuls of error. Uh, and I might have to fix my um, yum setup. Uh, it does not do this on the other machine, so this is, this is pretty bad here. Um, here's a list of mirrors that don't work if anyone needs them, which I, I'm guessing you don't. Let me try this again now. For some reason, it sometimes just works now. I don't, I don't really understand why it works the second time. Maybe because it updates something the first time. Um, and maybe it's just voodoo magic. Maybe the whole world is at random and our brains try to put some sense into it. I was watching a philosophy stream earlier and, you know, it, it is quite possible that this is just random. Everything is random and our brain tries to create an entire history of our life and everything to explain the random sensations we're feeling. Uh, that is probably not true, uh, but I'm trying to kill some time while this happens. Now, this is the first Pomodoro, but we skip it, even though at this point it would be a good idea, because this is apparently going to take forever. Um, I can do this on my other machine to figure out what package I got XF info from. Um, for some, something tells me it's like the FF MPEG package, um, but it might not be. So I've basically covered my bases. It may or may not be the FFmpeg package. It's kind of hard to, to debate that. So still coming in time while we wait for Yum to... Uh, we are in a, a secure shell-mounted system for most of this, but for the uh, you know, for home user, we are, we are mounted on another machine uh, through SSHFS, which is weird because uh, this is a VM running on another machine. But for the root directory and stuff, we should have our own 
uh, quasi VDI space. So, um, so it should be a little bit faster. It, it isn't obviously a little bit faster, but it should be. So this this slowdown is not due uh, to uh, to the fact that we're using Secure Shell. Um, is, let's see if I'm uploading. I'm not really uploading or downloading anything either. So on my main machine, so not really sure what's going on here. This is just going to be slow. Uh, perhaps the universe wants me to keep spitting out garbage, uh, which is what I will do. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, so let's see. Uh, let me actually say a little bit more about what we're going to do. Now, when looking at images, it would be very nice if you could annotate the image directly without having to go to a separate program and say, image XYZ represents blah, blah, blah. Um, and there's a very nice uh, program called Fuck You. No, it's not called Fuck You. Uh, let me, this time it should be very, very fast. And, okay. All right, I'm going to go look on my main machine now, which uh, is, is much cooler than this one. Um, and let me see. It might be that exit info is not in a package. I had to install it separately. And if I do, I will do that. La, 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 that's the odd couple theme uh, sung very badly, and okay, so exit info is not um, not in the repos that I use. I think I know where it might be. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you, but you know, I mean, give me a second here while I try to figure this out. Oh shit, where the hell is it? All right, stand by while I use even more powerful techniques that you don't know about to find it. Um, Okay. Oh, fuck. I'm an idiot, and you knew that. Of course, I meant not exif info, but rather exif tool, which does exist here. So that, that was kind of a waste of time. You're welcome. All right, so let's take a look at this. And also, I moved off the directory. So that, that was very cool of me. I think I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. Okay, here we go. Um, so this gives us some basic uh, information about... I don't even know who Matroska is, but he sounds pretty cool. Uh, video frame rate is not, like I said, 24 frames per second, but 29.97 frames per second, which I think is the NTSC standard. But I'm just saying that because I want you to think I'm not stupid, because 24 is what I taught, which I think is the movie standard. I think that's uh, the cinema standard. And 29.97 is the television standard, telesin uh, being a, a, an acronym that I, not an ac acronym, but a word that I know. Okay, cool. So how are we going to extract every tenth second out of this? Well, believe it or not, the program that I used to create the, the hideous Muppet mutilation uh, will tell us how to do that, I hope. I mean, you know, maybe not. Um, uh, BC, by the way, BCDL Twitch videos is vaguely interesting because it doesn't download my own Twitch videos. It downloads other people's Twitch videos uh, using YouTube DL. It's, it's kind of weird. Now, the question is, um, is it RIP video, which is one of the few things that doesn't apparently have a BC, um, a BC prefix to it? Uh, FFmpeg does, like, all the work. Literally almost all the work. Uh, here it is. Um, this FFmpeg command, I mean, with all these, you know, funky things in here, uh, will extract every 24th frame uh, from a given uh, video. Uh, what's vaguely interesting here is I never realized until just now that I was not extracting one frame per second, but a little bit more than that. Um, and so this scales it and stuff. Uh, one of the problems with this, which I guess we're going to um, ignore, I think, and by the way, the nice minus 19 is because this is a very CPU intensive operation and if I'm doing this while I'm doing other stuff, it, it just kills everything. Um, but, um, so, so, but here we're going to do it. Now, one, one thing I'm doing wrong is that because this is a really file uh, system intensive operation, I should not be doing it um, on, a, on a machine that where the file system is not local. Um, so I'm going to try doing it that way because I love you people. Uh, that is not actually true. Um, and if that doesn't work, I'll do it on my main machine and we'll look at the results. So this should be, um, well, let's just see what the hell this is. Now, one little technique I use sometimes is, uh, I should have a file in here called one-liners or something, no, or run me. 
Oh, I don't. What the hell? Okay, well, we will now. Is where I put in some one-liners that are useful to this directory here. And this, by the way, does go onto my real machine as well. Um, but that's okay. So a lot of this crap we don't really need. Um, we don't really need these details. Um, so we're just going to do one as an experiment. Uh, and it's going to be... I kind of want to pseudo-randomize this, so I will. ls sort minus r head minus 1. It will be... That's not cool. Stand by. Okay, we have found a, a problem, which is apparently some of the damn things didn't download properly. I'm going to make a note of that on my main machine. And we need So the one I found is one of the few that is actually broken. Um, okay. Look at dot part videos in tilde blah 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 and redownload. Now the only other possibility here is that I actually did already redownload it, uh, and I just this is just the um, is oh yeah it does look like I did download the whole thing, but I also got stuck with a portion of it. So that's not going to be the one we use because I don't I'm, I'm mad at it now. Let's go ahead and use this one. Uh, Mathix VC spice. It is MKV, which means I probably need to fix it because VLC on my machine won't do the audio. Uh, you know what? I'm sort of curious. Let's see if we can get that error right here on this machine. Uh, we, you won't be able to hear any sound, but uh, motherfucker, uh, is that the kind of resolution I broadcast at? Oh man, that sucks. Okay, screw that. All right. Um, so basically, it's going to be this video minus. Okay, now this uh, select is sort of clever. We're going to change this to 30. Um, not mod. This basically says mod n is not equal to 30. Uh, sorry, mod n comma 30 is not zero, uh, which means that. Uh, sorry, I'll try that again. Not mod n comma 30 means n mod n 30 is zero, which means it's every 30th frame. Um, it's hard to understand. I mean, it, it makes sense mathematically, but it's a very odd way of doing this. I don't know why I did it that way. Okay, uh, and then we, we're going to keep it the same size. I don't know what vsync VFR means. I'm kind of wondering if we actually need that. Um, and if we don't, because I'm trying to do this as simplistically as possible, uh, let's, just, um, let's just go ahead and put an output file here, and we will... Shit. There is a problem here. Um, we're trying to get uh, we're trying to get images out of this, not a uh, not a video out of this. And I thought that's what I was doing. Uh, maybe that's what I need VSync VFR for. Stand by while I check the uh, the voluminous and not very useful uh, manual. Um, now, one of the sad things is because of the way manual pages are written, you can't always uh, search in them like this, uh, which sucks. I mean, there are ways around this. I mean, you know, don't be. Um, let's see if we can find the word VFR in here. That's virtual frames. Oh, you know what? VFR might be what I, I might need VFR. So let me try this without VFR. Well, VSync VFR. Let me try this. Uh, now we need, we can't actually just say a single JPEG because we are doing a multiple JPEGs. So it would be something like this for the output. Uh, let's try this. I'm 99% sure it's not going to work. Uh, but also when I'm 99% sure something's not going to work, and this is actually, despite what I called it, it's a, I'm going to run it in P shell. Okay. Um, oh, fudge. Okay. Yeah, one one of the other issues is because in Perl I had to escape this um, uh, twice. I don't know if I have to because it's I think it's a Perl escape and then a then a shell escape. I don't know if I need to do that. So let's see if this works. Um, missing blah, too many arguments. Well, that's that's not too many arguments. Um, okay. 
Oh, actually, that is coming. Um, okay. All right. Now, um, I actually have done. Th I have actually experimented with this, so I actually know what the correct command is. Let me see if I can find it. And and but that's on my other machine, unfortunately. So, please stand by while I go fuck with my other machine. Um. That one's it's pretty easy. Um, okay, so actually the only thing I did wrong is I need only one backslash uh, instead of the two because we're only escaping for... I don't really know. I'm going to pretend it's because we're escaping for the shell, although I don't think the shell interprets that especially. But whatever. This should still fail, but now for a good... Oh, shiny. If this actually works, I'll be very surprised. Um, and we'll go to another uh, a screen and take a look. And motherfucker! I mean, yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't have Faye. Oh, m okay. But do I have actual Faye installed here? Probably not. Um, so of course I can use XD, which I try not to use because it is technically copyrighted. And um, this, if I'm doing it correctly, is showing me the first few. Um, and I screwed that up, didn't I? Because I created it for every second when I said I wasn't going to do that. Ooh, I suck! And clearly this is, um... This is, uh... Crap. Bullshit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and kill that. Uh, let me remove teststar.jpg. And I have removed alias, so I don't remove things by accident, but I can get rid of the alias by doing a backslash. Okay, so now... Uh, now that we know that we got that right, let's go ahead and do N300, which should also take less time. Um, so I guess the VSync VFR probably does something, obviously, but I don't know what it does. Um, all right, so this is a... Um, this is a... I think we're done almost now. No, we're not. So, this should not take this long. Frame. One frame per 10 seconds, so, um, uh, 360 frames per hour. How long is this goddamn stream? Um, far too long, apparently. Actually, it might even say how long it is, uh, somewhere. Um, the other issue, by the way, is I, even though I'm not resizing, this is way too big. I don't really need this kind of resolution. Um, I don't know why I use it. Uh, my, my, my screenshot resolution, my VM resolution is lower than that, so I probably need to fix that at some point. I'm not going to, but I probably should. So one hour and 44 minutes, I'm getting suspicious now because um, 11,099 times 10 seconds over 3,600 seconds is 30 hours. So... As Miss Clavel would say, something is not right. Now, the only possible thing that I did really stupid was uh, maybe I had it e every frame except the 30th. Um, let me take a quick look. That would be really fuck. That, that would be really kind of the kind of thing that um, that would be really, f really, really. Nope. It looks like. Uh, so why oh why are we not seeing is it the VSync VFR that I need? Okay. All right. So there's sort of the uh, the a dual you know there's sort of a balance here between using something you know works and removing options you don't think you need because I certainly don't want all of those options but in this case I apparently need some of those options. Okay, let's go back over here. Okay, I still don't know why it's only skipping every fourth frame. Uh, that is a very strange thing for me. But let maybe it's... Um, oh, fuck, did I not finish removing the earlier frames? What the hell was that? I'm, 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 I'm... Let's look at the latest two frames, see what's going on here. Okay, that, this looks better. Uh, only 200 frames so far, or uh, roughly. But I, what bugs me here is I apparently had other frames that I didn't, um, okay. 
Stop, stop the presses. I could have sworn I did a um, remove. Oh, and you know what? Maybe I, no, that, okay, maybe I, I had one extra zero there. So anyway, let's go ahead and re-remove. This is fun. This is all over a uh, non-local mount. Um, okay, now are we done? We're good? Okay. Um, I don't know why it's skipping by um, four frames when I asked it to skip by 30 frames, but maybe that, if, th if this works, I'm not going to care. Uh, if it doesn't work, I will care. That's kind of the, the standard reading system here. So 107, that's much closer to what we would expect. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, go it's going good. Um, not really great in terms of how the... T okay. Still okay. Maybe you can only skip four... four I don't know. Um, times 10 over... Th this is not a very large number. This is less than an hour. So we're good. So this actually looks like it's doing what we want, because roughly it's 44 minutes into the video, and we are only getting a frame every 10 seconds. Uh, pretty good. So now let's take a look at this and see if it's good enough to sort of determine what's going on. Um, and it's not really that great, is it? Um, I mean, from this I can guess that I'm working, I mean, it's fairly obvious working on Eclipse stuff here. Ooh, shiny. Um, I guess that's okay. I'm not, not as useful as I thought it would be. Um, and XV does not do annotations, so we... Uh, um, well, it might actually, but it's also, believe it or not, even when you bring it up today, all rights reserved, uh, unregistered copy. John Bradley, who I'm sure is a wonderful person, unless he's dead, in which still might be a wonderful dead person, um, still wants us to register this, which is ridiculous. And Faye does not exist here. Faye, I, I sort of avoided uh, making it here because um, my vague recollection is that it is ugly to install. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't show up anywhere in, um, I mean, I can guarantee it's not going to show up here because I remember I had to install it directly. Hmm. Pretty sure that's not it though. Although I'm kind of curious now. what that does contain. Yeah. Hmm. Why does it have fate? Oh, okay, hang on. By the way, you can also abbreviate what provides as provides. I keep forgetting to do that. So this will tell us what file it, it, it gives. Whoa, your mama. Okay, I don't know why that happened, but it's it's not it's not going to do what we want. All right, so let's go ahead and download Faye while we're waiting for the uh, the test to finish. I need to fix this page. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but... Um, so apparently the word Faye has many meanings. The one we want is this one. Um, let's go ahead and grab that sucker. We will always want to save BZ fit two files. And then we want to move them out of downloads. Um, I'm pretty sure this will spit into its own directory. One of the problems with um, oops, the root loads file. One of the problems with the older versions of uh, tar. Some people would put their files all at the very top. Whoa! Why are you exiting? I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. Um, come on. Humidera time, I'll be back in two and two.
We are choking to death, but almost back. Um, okay, and we're back. All right, apparently doesn't have a sh configure file. Um, yeah, okay. So, I think we can just do this. Whoa. Yeah, let's maybe do this. All right. That was way easier than it's supposed to be. So, I am going to pretend. Uh huh. Okay, and I do need to probably do it images, otherwise, it doesn't do anything. Uh, let's see if we've done. Okay, cool. Uh, Test.jpg. Okay. And 629 is a reasonable number. Now. This is not full screen. In fact, it is kind of weird, actually. Uh, actually, does it have freaking... Cool, we can make it full screen, which is good. Um, and then in here, we could, in theory, we're not going to, but we could here, in theory, uh, add comments to it. Let's go ahead and try this. Um, I'll go back to the first image. Um... Now, one of the nice things, and I have Faye alias correctly to do this, unless I don't, is you can hit C, and it'll go into caption entry mode, and you could say, um, eclipses. I mean, this is just a note for ourselves, so we'll just say eclipses, and cool. So now, I'm really not happy about this 1280 by 720, because it really makes this not look good. But that's another issue. And now we can sort of just sort of page through this until we see we've stopped doing eclipses, and update when we need to. However, okay, so now we're kind of curious what we're doing here. Um, okay, so here we're trying to apparently ex experiment with, so here we are. Wait, how are we doing? Oh, we're running Mathics. Okay, so maybe we should mention that too. In fact, let's go back to one kind of bad thing about uh, phase I haven't found a way to easily jump back and forth in a um, in a list of, of videos um, sorry in a list yeah in a list of images uh, eclipses mathics okay so that's and so it'd be nice if we could I mean I think we can actually get um, I don't think we can actually see the save list edit in place background options I don't think we can actually see the list of things that we're looking at, so we can't jump around in the image list. I'm sure there's a way to do it before, uh, you know, Fay users get on my case, but but I don't know what it is. So the theory here would be, um, okay. Uh, so Mathix, this is all still Mathix running locally. Um, Attempt to use it, which I remember will fail because it turns out um, I didn't have the, the. You have to do a lot of other craps. Um, um, uh, to get this working. Um, so, to get that working. So, it, that did fail. Now, I don't know if this is actually. I said it's eclipses, but what, it, what the hell is it actually? Mm. I hope to hell this is eclipses. I. I I think this is still eclipses. I think I've basically trying to cr uh, create the the arc sine formula here, um, and, and sort of show that the, uh, the the angular width is based on the arc sine, not the arc tan. They're very similar though, and I think that is the smoking gun right there. So, um, okay, so this is a all my streams are dull. So I'm not even going to bother to say this is a pretty dull stream. Um, Okay, and again, this is obviously about eclipses here. And one thing I haven't done is I have not been looking for good thumbnails for, for YouTube. Um, this is terrible, but then again, this is just the test version, so I think I'm okay. Um, no any. Um, what would be nice here, of course, is to get the, uh, the, the, the transcript to show up here as well, which we might do, which I might try to put in here. In which case, uh, obviously we can't we can't have the, we'd have to edit the the transcript captions to get that working, which is something we don't want. Um, 
that's a little bit too much for us, but um, uh, let's see. I have fun with my equations, don't I? Okay. Um, yeah. God damn, that is cool. Okay, and so the idea here would be we could use this to sort of say what this stream is about. We could even put it down in, you know, minute zero to blah, uh, minute blah to blah, whatever. That is one cool looking number, man. Um, and we're not really doing it for this stream. I'm just sort of getting an idea. And this does seem like, six, you know, one frame every 10 seconds is just about the right amount. The hell? Anyway, and this stream's almost over now. Um, so this is not as I would like to see what I was saying when I did this. Um, and the cool thing is there's actually sort of a nice space for it because, because of the error of it being 1280 by 720 when there doesn't need to be. Um, so we're getting very close to the end here. And do I die? Do I live? Do I die? I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so this is how we want to use, uh, not obviously right now, but, uh, you know, once we get, one, not in this form, this is just a test. That's how we're going to help uh, sort of um, look at these, um, how we're going to, you know, try to get a better indexing of these other than just saying things like, Today's stream, I think, is named uh, I Don't Even Know What, which is a reference to the song Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People. Um, so let's see if we can find for this one, and I know we have problems with the, uh, with the, um, with the transcripts, so this is going to be ugly. Uh, we have real problems with the transcripts and the fact that we don't have one here. Um, oh, actually, sorry. Because of the weird way that I want to um, store my captions, oh, come on, uh, they have to be here. So now, um, and the idea here would be for every picture, there is a set of um, captions that belong to that picture. Be, uh, you for every frame, frame shot, and that that's not too hard to get actually. We could argue, uh, we could tweak it a little bit, but like the first ten seconds would be the first, uh, so on and so forth. Um, but the problem we ran into earlier that we need to solve at some point, and I think we're just gonna have to solve it right now, um, is there's garbage in this English translation, uh, even though there is not garbage in the other translations. This is very sad. So. Let's go ahead and go ahead and create a little Perl script for this. Uh, in DC git. Okay, and I'm I'm never sure what I'm doing exactly. I'm gonna go ahead and look in DC git to see if I have something that already does captions. I'm doing this on the other machine um, because it's faster there. Okay. Oh, there is a. Uh, DC upload captions, which I do not think is what I need. Uh, but let's take a look at it real quick. Oh, this uploads, well, that literally says what it does. Um, it uploads a bunch of closed captions to my blog. So I assume I got that done. Um, okay, so this does not do what we want, which I didn't think it would. Uh, DC parse. Captions, this is going to be generic, but that's okay. Um, because we, we might use it for more than just this. Um, fix English captions DL from YouTube and maybe do other stuff. So just kind of leave it open ended there. And it might end up doing a lot more. And it might end up creating the, uh, the individual. Uh, captions for the images uh, that we have. So, and I think this file is small enough that I, um, I want to kind of suck it in directly. I don't want to necessarily go line by line uh, like you would have to for a much larger file. So, I have already created previously something called command file, which basically uh, puts the, the contents of the file into data and the name into the f name. 
And just to make sure everything is kosher, working, uh, we're the first thing we do is just to make sure we can actually read this. So we do need to do, I bet this isn't going to work either. I, I need to make this uh, program um, executable. And Perlfix is an alias that would do that, but I don't know if it's actually going to do that here because um, it's a little shiny, it does. Okay. So now let's look at what we were looking at before. So we just want to say BC parse captions, debug this pipe to less. And this just will literally give us nothing useful. Okay. All right. So the first thing we probably want to do is get rid of the align start position. This is such bullshit. Um, let's see. Well, let's just get rid of all the HTML tags first, and then probably this will be the second thing we get rid of. Um, I get the feeling that's going to give us duplicates, but, you know, let's, let's find out. Um, so, data equals substitute. I, this actually won't work um, because even though I said dot star question mark, this will actually get rid of everything between the very first tag in the file and the very last tag in the file. We, we should have next to nothing when we do this. Um, and I'm wrong. Um, gonna go ahead and replace this with another diagram and show us why Now, damn, this line shows up three times. Nice. Okay. Uh, these time intervals are pretty short, actually. We might be able to do something with them. Um, okay. So apparently that did work, although I'm I'm suspicious. Um, usually you have to put in something here that says not left bracket or right bracket. Um, but apparently, bizarrely to annoy me and make me look wrong, oh, hang on. This should break it. I mean, this should show that it's broken. Nope, it's fine too. Okay. So there's a couple of things we need to do. We need to probably not display these lines, but we, we might want to uh, suck them in because they actually do look, th they would be useful for putting into a, like a caption, for example. Um, and the second thing is lines appear to occur multiple times, so we kind of need to uh, only print a line once, but that might be excessive. Um, because it's possible this line shows up sometime much, much later and is useful at that much later point. Uh, I guess we could uh, look to see if we have repeated lines. Um, and if the current line, the new line matches the previous line, we could just kill it. So let's go ahead and be a little bit more. Um, um, so despite what I said, we're going to go through this line by line, at least for now. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, and this just says if the line is blank, ignore it. Um, and for right now, let's just do this again. This is p pathetically slow programming. Uh, I'm checking everything as we go along. Okay, so this kind of bullshit we want to get into. Um, we want to we want to do something other than print it. So let's go ahead and look to see our regex will be there. And let's do this. So it's going to be if dollar sign i equals start with. Uh, um, I'm going to cheat. A bunch of digits. Uh, colon, the literal dot, um, followed by any number of spaces, including zero, literal minus, literal minus, greater than, I mean the arrow thingy, any number of stars, followed by this thing again. Uh, and then the end. Now... Let's make sure we got this correct. Debug timestamp. Um, and I guess we just put the whole line there. Okay. 
So if this works, we will capture the timestamp separately from the actual comments. Let's see what this does. And it did not work. I'm not surprised. Um, I'm almost sure we need a backslash. I don't know why, but colon is not a special character. But And of course I meant to say plus, not just the single one by itself. So, kind of stupid there. So maybe I didn't need the backslash after colon, but it shouldn't hurt anything. Uh, cool. Still doesn't work. Okay. Well, 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 we chill. I'm just going to move the backslash from the colon. That should do nothing. Okay, so what this says is beginning of line. Uh, any number of digits, colons, and uh, plus signs, then this... Do I need to? I probably shouldn't need to backslash this. Um, okay. I don't know why I'm just doing, doing this again. I, I haven't changed anything, so it shouldn't really... Let's see if there's any place where it does catch in um, the word timestamp. There's not. Okay, so now we basically build it up. Let's see if we can just get... If it starts with a bunch of digits, colons, and dots. Oh, another thing we need to do, by the way, here is we do need to say next. We, we Once we get rid of it, we don't want to print it out. Um, that shouldn't have been an issue, though. Okay, still not working. All right. How about this? Oh, hang on. I, that dollar sign should definitely not be there. For now. All right. Doesn't work, but... Okay. And this actually should be I. Sorry. Uh, my bad there. Okay. So timestamp. Big deal. And this might actually be literally enough to catch it because... There's literally going to be nothing else that's going to look like this. But, to waste some time, let's see if we can capture this part of the pattern. Is that still working? So let's just do this until we break it. Okay. Okay, and it's quite possible that I effed this up because I wasn't using I or something. So... Oh, I know what might be wrong, actually. Oh, right, there is an adult. There's actually more crap here before you at the end of the line. So, basically, dot. Um, yeah, and actually, this is fine because we don't have to match the entire line. So, this we have now timestamps. Um, not particularly interesting, except that we can identify them. Um, So now let's not even print those out. We, we will, you know, we will do something with them, but not print them out for right now. And now let's look at this, and we're still, now and this is, I just love the way this, this is. Observing, I have to, which is unwritten out in time, I think, I think, I think. Okay. So now the other thing we're going to do here is, um, we know it's not a timestamp. Pomodoro time back in two and two.
and we are almost back and we're back okay so now we want to sort of we're getting closer to our goal our first goal of printing out the transcript but now we have a lot of duplicates so here's what we do um, after we print after the print we go back to no we don't um, we will assign prev to the value of i and now if we are seeing a repeat, we'll just go next, and then we'll set prep to i, and then notice we do that after, obviously, <laughs> otherwise, it wouldn't match every time. And now, let's see if that gives us what we don't want. Three, four, okay, according to which we are streaming, oh, and welcome to the stream, we do not have a bit of an agenda. We do have a bit of an agenda today, to continue from last time, we are still looking at basically uh, eclipses from lunar, eclipses from Jupiter, but generally the concept of one celestial body, it's to another. Sea spice to deal with this blah 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 before it's impossible. No one actually observes blah, blah, blah. pretty veiled and says, God damn, I'm verbose. So we're now closer to what what is a more useful form of the transcript. Um, it, I mean, in very, very least use of the word the useful. Um, drum roll, please. I said drum roll, but let's see. Man, God damn, I am. All right, and let's see if we can do something more with timestamps now. So we will go ahead and, and go ahead and do this. Um, first of all, we actually only want to capture, I mean, this is kind of ugly because there's there's two things in the timestamp and they're very, very close together. I mean, if we look at the timestamps, um, we'll see. And go ahead, let me go ahead and BC get this before I forget. Um, that's something I do regularly when I am on my main machine but forget to do here, which is bad. So let's take a look, quick look at the timestamps. Um, there's a lot of crap here. Um, there is a lot of crap here. Um, what's interesting here, some of these timestamps, oh, because of redundancies, uh, they have nothing in, I mean, there's nothing below them except, hello, Milkister Moo! We are indeed taking the uh, YouTube captions and turning them into Captions. That's very exciting. It seems like it would be a no-brainer, but no, there are issues with YouTube's um, uh, with YouTube's captioning, so we have to fix it. Um, the other issue is, um, I'd like to be able to sort of. Oh, well, thank you. Um, but I mean, this isn't going to go. This isn't going to go anywhere live. This is just for me to be able to index my videos uh, to see what's on them without having to wa go watch the whole things because they are very, very bad. So the first thing I did earlier today, I don't know if you were here, is we took snapshots of one of my videos at every 10 seconds. Um, and for right now, we're just testing, so we called them this. So for example, go full screen here. Uh, the, this is like every 10th second of my videos, one of my videos. And what I want to do here is basically be able to tell people from this part of my video to this part of my video, I'm doing this, then I'm doing that, then I'm doing something else. I don't know if you can see them as, because it's going really, really fast right now, but that's the general idea. So this will help me look at my videos without having to watch them, which again, I'm, you know, don't really want to do, um, and sort of create a nice little, um, nice little index of them, uh, and maybe even find, be <coughs> excuse me, find better thumbnails for YouTube, and potentially, which I didn't put down on my list earlier, um, I will do now. Uh, and also, let me see which projects are hanging, because I often get started on something, never finish it. I'm not, ne not necessarily going to finish it, but I do want to have sort of a list of things I'm not, you know, that, I'm, that I started on one stream, never finished. So, to annoy people, I think. <coughs> Um, so the, the one issue we were having here, the one, the, what I'm working on now is, um, this is somewhat useful. Looking at the screenshot is somewhat useful, but I'd, it'd be nice if I also knew what I was saying when that screenshot was up. The, so I want to caption these images with my, um, existingly what I said, um, or actually I just want to see if I can do it, uh, honestly. And then that might be more help, and then I can start indexing my videos and, 
everyone will be, well, very sad because that just makes them worse. And then, by the way, I will be changing the YouTube descriptions, blah, 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 blah. Um, and for reasons unknown, I will also be trying to figure out which Twitch stream number each of these videos is. Although that would help with some ordering. And then I'm going to post all this crap somewhere so Google can index it and, um, and just make the world a worse place. Um, oh, and I'm going to also, at some point, maybe try to get a custom domain for my GitHub pages. And that's just to make handling them in Google a little bit easier. Um, and, and basically because I have some domains I'm not using and I like annoying people. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, if you have any questions, comments, uh, let me know. So we'll go back to what we're doing here. Uh, right, and we want to parse the timestamp out now. Um, and get sort of a solid number out of it, which is not difficult. Um, so I'll put a sample timestamp here while we're doing this. Um, and we only really need the first times part of the timestamp. We don't need the ending timestamp. So here, my TS timestamp equals all time one. And then this is like a little bit anal actually, anal retentive, not anal sex. Um, so now we're going to look, ooh, so now I am tempted to do something that I really, really shouldn't be doing, but I'm going to. Um, okay, so this is hours, no, this is minutes and seconds, this is hours, minutes, seconds. Um, so I could split these up separately. Um, and which is just really ugly. So a bunch of, you know, the hours, the minutes, which should always be two. So let's just be um, <coughs> real specific here. And then the seconds, which should be two digits, potentially followed by a dot, potentially followed by additional digits. That thing will then be followed by this. So now, um, let's just see if it, if it captures that, it'll make it easier for us to compute a hard time on this. Um, instead of having to, you know, and basically convert this into seconds or whatever unit we choose to convert this into. Uh, nice, that does look like it's going to work. All right, so now, this is the kind of thing that uh, annoys the crap out of people who program in Perl because you're not supposed to do it. Um, you're supposed to assign variables to the dollar sign one, dollar sign two, dollar sign three as quickly as possible. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. So 3,600 seconds in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. And I'm tempted to put this like times a thousand. <coughs> so I have like a solid number. Um, instead of a decimal, but I think I don't care enough about that. So, and so now we should have some good looking timestamps, or at least easy to use timestamps. Um, looks like Elvish? Oh, you mean the way all the lines are sort of slapped together? I, I, I don't know why I'm saying that. I don't know what Elvish looks like. And at the risk of, uh, you know, uh, the wrath of the elves, uh, I think elves might be fictional. But then again, they might not be. I'm not going to make that decision for them. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Um, again, because of all the repeats, some timestamps go unused. Uh, but this, this is okay. Okay, so now what we want to do... I'm going to go ahead and d DC get this because I'm about to really fuck it over. Um, and that is the standard process is before you fuck something over, push it to get so you can pretend you can unfuck it if you need to. So what we're going to do here is, um, and we want time, um, yeah, we want timestamp to be available to, to other routines. So we will go ahead and say, so we'll sign the timestamp to this. 
we will compute the timestamp and then we will eh, we will move on. But over here, what we're going to do is if we found a line that we like, we're going to say um, uh, we're going to say that the tran of that second, the current timestamp dot equals dollar sign i. So we can have multiple lines, and I'm pretty sure this is going to break because I need a, I'm missing a new line somewhere, uh, and, I, and I'm going to regret that. So now over here, I should be able to say debug keys of tran and just see a bunch of timestamps. And if that works, we can go on to our next step, which is uh, wondering why we are living this kind of life. Okay. And they are, by the way, not in random order, but they are, as you notice, um, in kind of a no real order. And that is a that is a pearl thing. Order is not guaranteed. Of course, we want to use them in order, so we're going to say dollar sign i sort in numerical order, which is this. Keys of tran. And then we could say, now we should see them in order. And there they are. And now we're going to see if these accurately depict the um, the uh, the captions. So we're going to debug the timestamp, and then we're going to say what is associated with that timestamp. Okay. And the only place I'm worried about is if we had like two lines, and I don't see any place that's actually happening. Um, Jason, not J-S-O-N, but Jason the dude. Okay. Did I mention Stewie? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not Stewie from Family Guy. I'm pretty sure that's a different Stewie. Okay, so it looks like we do have this going now. Um, let's F with it a little bit more. Now, we don't really care about the timestamp exactly. We care about the timestamp mod 10 because we are the, the images we've captured are every 10 seconds. Um, so, paranoid, I'm going to DC get it again. Maybe I'll just DC get it every one second just to see what happens. Um, but no. All right. So here, um, uh, uh, the only thing I'm hesitating on is whether we want to uh, change the timestamp or create a new variable. We should probably create a, a new variable. Um, um, my mod ts equals ts. Uh, did I say uh, did I say mod ten? I meant divided by ten as integer division. Um, so I don't even think it's round. I think it's going to be floor here. Uh, and then we'll say tran mod ts equals this. So now this will definitely give us a um, an indication of whether the lines can be glued together. Um, yeah, and the problem here is actually all we need here is a space, to be honest. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, now the question is, how do I do this without losing the f without putting an extra space at the bottom? And um, yeah, now this I'm going to show you is going to make people who don't program in Perl weep, and maybe even people who do program in Perl weep. Even though it's a very minor issue, I'm going to turn this into a list just to avoid the issue of having to uh, have an extra space at the beginning. So now. This should tell me this is a bunch of arrays. Each of these, there it is. And so now I could say my text equal join space dollar sign tran of dollar sign. And this will avoid the first space. I could put a new line here, but I think for what I'm doing, I don't want one. Um, so here we can just say, you know, text. And so this is this is the kind of crap that, what the fuck? I save this? Um, oh, sorry. Because it's a list, we have to reference it as a list. All right. 
often describing a bit of engender from the Earth, whereas basically we're getting eclipses from lunar eclipses, it doesn't make sense. I think I meant ellipses. Well, I mean, this is not a perfect translation either. Different kind of auto hosting in any case. Last time I believe I said the angular diameter of the angular radius or angular radius of the planet was the planet's radius divided by the distance. So it was not correct. It's actually the arc sine, not this, but I mean, you know, whatever. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. But now what we want to do is attach these as captions to the video that I just captured. And again, this is a test, so it's, it's okay. Um, and now I need to look at how I did the test shit. Okay, so I did it with, um, I think, I'm pretty sure this is eight digits here that I'm doing. Sprint test, okay. Um, so my S name is going to be, it has to match, okay, this is, this is what the test, the name has to be basically the same name as the JPEG followed by the TXT sign. And the reason for that is I've aliased Faye um, that's a little cool. That's not what I, oh, here it is, sorry. The minus K dot means if you see a dot uh, TXT file in dot, the current directory, treat it as a caption for the image. <coughs> I probably need to figure out what the hell all this other crap is, but anyway. Um, Okay, so the F name is going to be Sprint F. I always get this wrong. Um, and I might be able to do it from my FFmpeg that I did earlier, because it is, um, I'm hoping FFmpeg has the same, oh, come on, really? Oh, actually, I put it in one minor, so yeah, there it is. Uh, percent 08D, that's, that's hopefully what it will be. Um, so the test percent 08 D dot JPEG dot text of the key, which is I. Um, and if that is correct, we should just be able to write the text to the F name. Gotta love it. Okay. Let me just go over here real quick quick and see if this exists. It does exist. Okay, so we're good. So now we just need to write basically this to this, and we're done. And to do that, we can use my lovely program, my lovely one-liner write file, which I always forget what order to put stuff in, so it's not really that useful, and it would probably be easier to do it myself. Uh, it is the string file. Okay. And so if this works, we're pretty golden here. And in this case, we're not going to, uh, we're not going to, that was like way too fucking fast. Okay, well, let's do it. Well, there it is. Welcome to the, we do have a, last time we are looking at functions. And the only thing I don't like here is the captions are a bit small given the amount of space that I have. I think I can fix that though. I'm almost sure I can fix that. Okay, it's Pomodoro time. I will be back in two and two.
are almost back. And we're back. Now, one problem, as you can see from this Fay window, is that it um, obscures a lot of other stuff when it's full screen. And I don't want to do that. So there's a couple of things we need to change here before we can start looking at this video. And by the way, just to be obnoxious, the video I'm going to try to actually index today is going to be not the test video that we're using right now. Um, why are there? That seems like more images than there should be, but okay. Oh, I know what's wrong. Um, I said test star, which includes the text files. You don't need to do that. You can just say this. So there, that's better. 629 files. Oh, and cool. Now we have a. Um, Okay, all right. Okay, so this might be too much information, but uh, for me, let's see if we can change that. I'm gonna go through the standard process of looking at the uh, man file, not finding what I want, and then going to Google. This is the standard procedure here. And we're trying to make the caption size different, bigger in our case, but. Um, and this is the minus K I was talking about earlier. And so, toggle caption mode, that's also good. Nothing else. And now we're going to look for the word font to see if we can control the font. Oh, shit. Uh, true type font of your choice, but that's a different... Oh, shit. Um, crap, they might, this might be easy. Um, well. It sucks that this might work. Okay, so we need to say minus E, uh, which is, by the way, in addition to all these other options because aliases allow you to add other options. And then we need to look at our font, and that we should be able to get a list of fonts using XLS fonts. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, though, it's not going to accept any of these. It, th it doesn't want this format in, in its fonts because it said it wants a specific format. But let's see if this works. And the nice thing, by the way, is the font it begins with a, uh, a dash. Um, so... So, um, so that should confuse it even more. Mm -hmm. But that's that's pretty typical. So let's see if we can do. This. Actually, I'm going to use the double in my minus font. And I'm going to use this, and then watch it break. Okay. This does not look like it's a different font, but that. Okay, hang on. Couldn't couldn't load font. Yeah, no shit to Sherlock. Um. Let's see if there's a way to print fonts that shows them in their uh, the form that um, Faye can use them. Um, <laughs> Ooh. XLS fonts minus L can tie up your script. So we're not going to do that then. Um, and see, the weird thing about this is, and I probably should have kept it open on a separate page, is it's the font specification has to be a directory, which is not the correct way to specify. Well, that's not the standard way to specify fonts. So I think it's user local font fucking something, X user X11. They're in there somewhere. We have fonts. Um, This should hopefully bring it to us pretty quickly. Um, did I, I did sudo, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's not really helpful, but okay. This is going to take longer than it would to just, just find them. Is it user local x11? User lid x11? User X11. All right. I'm going to go ahead and find where they are in my freaking... Uh, actually, so I'm tempted to do this just because it says it's going um, to screw up my machine. Um, okay, that did not take an excessively long time, so I think they lied to us about that. Um, Durr. So, whatever... Uh, do I have a font path set? I do not. 
Um, let me find our, the, the fonts are usually kept in the, oh, it might be user local, et cetera. Hang on. And if not, we could Google for it or we could just do a search for it or whatever, but. Um, local fonts, uh, et cetera. New user, except there's a user, et cetera, et cetera fonts. There we are. Uh, but these are just configuration files, but that's okay. We, this should help us find our fonts. Uh, this should tell us where our main user share fonts and user sh share X11 fonts. And let's see what kind of fonts we have. I think these are the crappy fonts. Oh, no, no, these are the, uh, these are directories. Um, let's go ahead and use X11 fonts because we're in X11. Under DPI, OTF. I, I'm tempted to put this in Zap Dingbats just to see what the hell happens. And maybe I will. Can't stop me, man. I, and so I, even I won't be able to read my captions. Um, let's see if we can find Zap Dingbats. Oh, we don't have Zap Dingbats. Alrighty, let's just... 100 DP, it doesn't really matter, I mean, I don't give a fuck. So I don't know what Tim is, but he look, he sounds like a nice guy. So let's find the full path to Tim R24. I ask, I'm pretty sure this is the one we want. Okay. Let's see how good Mr. Tim is as, as a font. Assuming this even works. Well, that didn't work. So let's see. Okay. Couldn't load. <sighs> Failed to load. Even load fixed. Attempting to find any font. Couldn't load that font, but it doesn't tell us why it couldn't load that font. Because you're stupid. That's why. Um, do I have a man Fay up here somewhere? I should. Okay. Okay. Oh, it should be a true type font. So maybe I, I fucked that up because we do need to go to TTF to true type font. Well, this is kind of bad because there's only one of them. And I'm pretty sure this is, there's something more funny going on here. Unless we go back up to this level. Yeah, this is, this is fucked up. Um, I mean, what I really want is font size. I don't give a rat's ass. Ooh. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I saw something interesting there. Oh, an example. That's kind of nice. Um. Oh, motherfucker. You have to set a directory with minus C and then a minus E. Um, uh, what the? That, that's not where I want to be. Okay. So, pain in the fucking ass. I don't know why. You have to do this. But apparently, I'm guessing fonts is what they is they want like this. Um, and you know what? Let's just do one of them because we're not. Oh, that would be O O one, I think actually. Um. Okay, couldn't load font. Attempting to fall back to default. Couldn't. Attempting to find any font. Okay. Well. Well, th there's only one font here, but I guess you're going to have to use it. You would have to live with it. I 
I don't even know what this word means. I, I, I'm s scared of not offending someone if I use it, so I won't. Go ahead, the best, the man, the font. Okay. Okay. Um. So we did have some examples, which I have to admit was was n wasn't helpful, but it is good to have these examples. So let's go back. Let's go ahead and do this. So we want minus minus font, uh, or minus e. That's the wrong kind of e. Okay. So this is um. Uh, minus c. User shows. I don't think this actually exists on my machine. Um. Oh wow, it might exist. Okay. So let's try their little example now. Um, actually get to where we where the oh yeah people need to be yep doesn't even do its own example all right let me take a quick look in this directory to see um So we do have a deja vu. And by the way, you're thinking, hey, haven't you fallen down a, a pit now pretty much? Um, yeah, I have. Whoa, 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 we didn't actually complain about that one. And it does look like a different font. Brilliant. I'm gonna, even though I know we're recording, we're gonna, I'm gonna copy this to my readme stream of infinite notes that are very ugly. Okay, so this looks promising. Um, um, so I guess I want to know what other fonts are in there, but uh, oh, interesting. The dash is gives you the size. So if the true type font, I should be able to do this. Ah. Uh, well, that's only one, one file, but. Okay, so we're solid on that. So actually, uh, the only thing we, the 20, you can just put any number in there. You could probably put 50 in there because that is just holy shit. That's even too big. Uh, this looks like the, the role from Star Trek. Uh, Star Wars. Welcome to the stream. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Da, dun, da, dun. But anyway. Okay. So we have now found a way to index my strings. We haven't actually indexed anything. We've not done anything useful. Always good. But we've figured out a way to do something useful. Um, so let's clean this up a little bit by... Um, me muttering incessantly. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Um, I mean, the, the if we do this one at a time, which is what I plan to do, we don't really need to make that big of a change. Uh, but we don't really want to do this in this directory. We kind of want to do, well, let's create a temp directory, and let's be brilliant and call it a temp directory. Um, so I do want to remove all the test star.jpg and the test star.jpg.txt. Um, and, but, I mean, we could probably just do this exact same thing we just did. And let's see, what does one-liners do? Um... Now, if I do this correctly, I could force these into the temp directory. 
or I could just create them and then push them, put them in the temp directory. So now the question becomes, of all these cr these crappy things, which one do I want to um, do I want to uh, index or otherwise uh, describe? And I think I'm going to follow the standard. One of the th maybe the only thing one of my bosses told me that was useful was when you go through email, even though you would think you would want to go oldest to newest, go newest to oldest and see how be that, that how that works. And it works a lot better because a lot of times you'll see an email and you'll start working on it and then a future email will just say, oh, I didn't mean that or, you know, uh, so it basically overrides the previous email. And also, and this is something that I don't like saying because it is antithetical to my belief system, uh, but usually if something's important, people will send it more than once or will send you a reminder. So if you have email that's getting older and older that you're not looking at, that's bad. But also, usually, um, people are going to not mind as much because, uh, because it's going to be less important. Um, so speaking as someone who has over 50,000 emails in my inbox, and I actually cleared it out at one point uh, a few years ago, but I mean, those 50,000 isn't all the email I've ever received. Um, that seems to work pretty well. 90%, 99% of the time, 99% of the time. Things get done the way they need to get done, and the old stuff, sometimes they look at it and say, oh yeah, that's not relevant anymore. So that's some terrible advice for you. So now, oh shit, okay. That didn't do what I thought it would do. I thought this would tell me what order, oh yes, it does tell me what order I have them in. The problem is I don't have the latest ones because, um, so this is yesterday's stream. Um, I don't have the latest ones because YouTube does not caption necessarily in real time. So sometimes I have to go back and get the captions, and I don't have the captions for a given um, for a given stream. So I guess what I really need to do is look at not the latest videos, but the latest ones for which I have captions. And let's do that. Um, okay, apparently that is also the the, the fourth stream the stream from yesterday. Okay. So now, watch me work. Huh, huh. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call BC. This is again, I could do this cleaner than I'm doing this now. Uh, but this should work. We're in the temp directory. We're going to say BC parse captions. Um, dot, 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 captions. I don't even know what. Oh. Uh, March 4th, the English captions, please. And this will just create a bunch of files here in a fraction of a second. And Motherfucker. Okay. Pomodoro time back in 2 and 2 and we're gonna, we're gonna do this bitch.
we are almost back. And we are back. Okay. Um, well usable without mouse. Uh, like that. Okay, so we are almost there now for yesterday's stream, which by the way is actually not a particularly interesting, oh, I shouldn't say that. It, it, it's not a stream that's very technical because I got caught up in a wonderful conversation uh, with a Norwegian person. And, um, but that does mean it's not the kind of thing, um, it's not necessarily going to be a technical stream, but that's, that's fine. And, whoa, undo, undo some more, undo many times. Right, control Z has a different meaning to Emacs, so that didn't really work. Um, is the undo key bound to anything? Maybe not. All right, screw this. Um, I'm just gonna not save it, and then reload it. I am so smart. Alrighty. So really, the only thing we need to change here is the file name. And I guess we can say put these into temp just to make life a little bit easier for you. Um, and then it'll take a it'll take a couple of minutes to do this, but we're only looking at every 300th frame. It's not really that bad. Um, so again, we could do this a little bit cleaner. I I do agree that we could do this cleaner. Um, why am I having all these files here? Oh yeah, I just created them. That's why. Um, And I was just trying to get this off of it because I happen to know this is what's going to be the, the video. Oh, come on. Right, the problem is I, don't, I forgot what the, uh, the extension is. And I can't just say dot star here because uh, that would give me all the VTT files. <laughs> so let's see what it actually is. MP4. Okay. Oh, I could do dot star because this only has, uh, this directory only has uh, MP files and blah, blah movie files and not captions are in separate directories. So I could have done that. But anyway. So now we go up here. Let's do the one liners. I'm sure I've done something wrong. Um, so again, because we're on a non locally mounted system, this will be slower, but surprisingly fast. I mean, we're basically at the 39th minute of the video. I don't remember how long the video is, but if I jabber long enough, the uh, the process will end before I finish jabbering. I'm hoping that it takes the temp test correctly, but it but it should. So we're at one hour forty minutes into which is a dangerous amount of time. I think I went two hours yesterday, so we should there it is. Okay. So now, if this worked, we should really now now we're gonna have a, we're gonna have an issue here in just a second. But let's let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, one issue is I, for some reason, decided that I didn't want um, borders around face. So if I want to move it, I've got to do this. Uh, the other is, of course, I just realized we want the font to be different. But the big thing is I don't want it to cover the screen because I'm going to have to take notes on it. And I don't want to add the notes to the images themselves because we now have the transcripts added. So we don't want to kind of double use that. Uh, I don't think Faye has a method of creating two different sets of transcripts, two different sets of captions, but I mean, you wouldn't even expect that. That is like way, way difficult. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and do the, um, of course, we are going to background it once we get this correct. And let's go ahead and use the magic uh, that we used last time in Read Me Stream. And we're going to do one other thing here. We're going to do this. Except we're going to do it with a font that is much bigger. And I guess I never really did decide what font I wanted. I think 20 is going to work for me here. Um, okay, there's something about this that bugs me. Why are my freak? Why is my freaking frame so small? That shouldn't be happening. All right, hang on. Um. <laughs> okay. So 
this should not be this small of a video. And let's take a quick look at it. The video, oh my god. Source image height, 640 image Damn, what the hell? Is this where I was experimenting maybe with my... No. Okay, well. Not cool. Let's see how it looks in VLC. Ooh. That is fuzzy. Well, I hope my stream doesn't look like that today, but if it does, someone please tell me. Um, that is hard to watch, actually. I mean, okay, well, let me quit out of VLC here. Let me go look at my, own, oh, can't do that. Okay. Um, okay, that is not cool at all. Um, I don't know if it's not cool enough that I don't want to, I mean, I can't, I can't fix this. I can do, there is a, um, there is a Fey uh, alias that will make, th uh, stretch to, uh, stretch to fit, uh, that I could use. Plus, of course, I'm not going to run Fey at this, this small of a, um, okay, so this is, this is pretty bad, actually. And I do have, um, an alias called Fey Small, which runs Fey at a smaller size than normal. Uh, which for us might actually not be a smaller size than normal. Um, yeah, this is not looking too good. Um, oh shit, what the hell? Um, okay, I've got different fake keys, I guess, uh, bound somewhere. Um, but uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and bind the fake keys correctly because I'm, I'm used to where you can zoom into it. Um, there should be an option in Faye that says stretch the image. And I should know what that, I that is actually. But let me take a quick look here. Because um, I have it somewhere. Auto zoom. So that's not a very difficult... Um, that's not a very difficult option to remember. And I thought I had it set in my... No, I couldn't have had it set in my Faye rec because that didn't even exist until today. Um, I had it set somewhere uh, yesterday that I made up. Um, well, let's find out. Um, oh, YouTube DL is where I did it, so never mind. Uh, so I do need to do this from uh, from Faye. Fortunately, I'm pretty sure I actually have this defined here. Uh, Faye keys, and, but I don't say where to put this damn thing. Uh, I think it's in, uh, let me find out. That'd be nice, let's, let's see. Okay. Wait. Where the hell do we, oh, is it in less config fey keys? Yep, that's where it is. Okay. So actually I'm going to make a little, I'm going to actually do something vaguely useful and actually document where to put the damn thing. Um, okay, so put this in dot config fey keys. Woohoo! Something actually useful. Uh, dot config, I wonder if we already have, we do already have, oh, oh mama. All right, we're going to go into fey and I want to say link minus spc, get frightened, fey keys. Uh, to keys. Okay. Right, can't do that here because I'm on a, um, this actually creates a copy for some reason, uh, which is fine. I mean, we can, we can, we can live with that. Oh, yeah. I do need to be in the correct directory for that to work. Okay. So now we could use zoom to zoom. This is really bad. Is today's stream like this? Because if it is, I'm not happy. And oh, and auto zoom is the, um, I guess, is the. I thought I had that actually. 
Maybe I don't have that in my fate alias. Ooh, I should though. Uh, let me go ahead and fix that actually as we talk. Um, because it took me a while to get this the exact fey thing working. Yeah, because as you can see, we have several tests here. Um. So why? Oh, because I haven't done the source aliases. That's why. Because I this machine just goes from state to state, um, not like U.S. states, but um, it never actually reloads any of its files because it never creates new. Uh, it never creates a new uh, shell, so it never has to. Now, okay. So this is stretching. So this is actually. I am very unhappy about this. Um, I should probably check my OBS settings, huh? I thought I... F okay, well... So we're not going to use this one because I am pissed off at it. And that is, yes, that is a good enough reason not to do it. And we'll get rid of all the crap we created. Go back up here. Go back up to the captions. Look at the latest file. Um, yeah, that was useful. Um, oh yeah, look at the latest English subtitles. And all right, so this guy has now become the favored fourth of February. Really? Oh, fuck, because I downloaded them not in order. Um, alrighty, so we, um, so we're now stuck on a very tiny point, which is in what order should I, um, should I try to index these? Uh, because I thought I could do it in, um, in order of newest last, which I still could, but I apparently didn't download them in that order. Um, there is a way to find out. There is actually, um, I have all my Twitch streams numbered and stuff. The problem here is I don't know if it's going to give me the original file name uh, and tell me what Twitch stream this came from. Uh, I mean, there's really no reason it should. But let's let's take a look here real quick. Okay. Yep, it does not tell me uh, what the f name of the file that I originally uploaded. Uh, not that I expect it to. I mean, that's that's not necessarily doesn't have to be in there. Um, does it tell me the resolution of this file? Yet, so this is what I should be seeing in all of my videos. Even though it's way too big, it is big enough for people to see. Um, so I'm unhappy. Uh, I mean, that's you probably don't care, but that's that's what's going on with me. Uh, okay. So, all right, let's do it gingham style. I don't know what that means. Um, this doesn't count. Sort minus R, head minus one. Unless it's something I don't like. Oh, that came up earlier, I think, actually. All right. So this is our golden child now. Um, shiny. Okay, so this is our golden. The problem, of course, is I need to put a... I don't remember what the extension is for this, but I think... And of course it's not this, but I think I can do this because there's only one of them. Um, and then I also need to run BC parse captions because that takes like a fraction of a second. So well, I kind of find that hard to believe. The only thing I can think of is it's not. Wait, what? 
Why does this have a different... This is one of those things I really don't want to know the answer to, but why does it have a different tag at the end? Okay, there it is. And yet, this... I guess because I put it in the star and I can't really do that. That, that, that quotes the star away. So this is how I should have done it. Um, it'll still not work, but I mean, hey, there we go. Okay. So now, again, this is not as clean as I'd like to be, but I'll apologize that for that like 20,000 billion times. Uh, DC sparse captions, dot, 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 captions, same thing. Um... I don't know where the hell I am anymore. Um, all right. Um, in th I guess in theory I could put it as part of the one-liner file, but let's see. And this time I really do need the English one only. All right, create some files for me. Done. We should have JPEGs and files. Uh, the JPEGs are still being created. Um, and th this is going to be the first one we look at, uh, if, if it works, which it probably won't. Uh, I don't know, mm, this is like, I don't know what the hell this URL does, but they put it there, so I'm kind of curious now. I, 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 that doesn't even make sense. But anyway. All right, we're one hour, 40 minutes through. What, I don't know how long this one is. I mean, it probably tells you somewhere. Um, segment count, 1710. Ooh, creation time. But again, I'm not sure if these were... Well, this, the creation time should be actually fairly close to when I uploaded them to YouTube, I think. So, damn, this is a long stream. Went over two hours. Well, of course, today's stream is brought to you by the letters no. Today's stream is going one hour, 48 minutes. I'll probably kick it off within 12 minutes unless something interesting happens, uh, which it never does. So it is now Pomodoro time. I will be back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we're probably back. We are back. Okay. So now, um, we probably need to make a note of which stream this is because otherwise it would be, I mean, we probably could find it again if we had to, but um, because we're doing this sort of as a, an experimental thing, uh, we're just going to put it in the middle of this, um, uh, in the middle of this readme stream. Of course, eventually we're going to, um, we're going to put this onto YouTube. We're going to do other cool stuff with it. Um, well, probably not, but I mean in theory. But for right now, we're just going to put the stream notes over here. And I'm going to see if there's a good way to kind of get this all going. 
Um, now I'm, I cannot really do this. This is not going to work um, because, well, for one thing, I have the caption wrong. But other than that, uh, it blocks up the chat. This is not the real chat library. This is an image of the chat, um, and and it, it's just it's not really convenient for me to sort of uh, get uh, get stuff off of. So this still isn't going to work, but let me try it real quick. Okay. Um. Um. I kind of feel like putting something like, you know, boring intro. Um. Uh, but I mean that, I, I, I'm hesitant to do that because everything's a boring intro. Okay, so we need to reshape this window slightly. Um. And I think, fortunately, if I do face small, that might do it. But if it doesn't, I have I have other ways of doing this. Yeah, the problem is what's small somewhere else. Oh boy, what's small on my other machine is actually pretty big on this machine. Um, so let's do this geometry. I, I'm almost sure I don't want to do this either. But let's let's take a look at e mm, this. Might be okay. Um, now the issue here, of course, is because um, this is 17. What is what is the actual resolution here? Pretty damn good. Um, I think it's 1280 by 720. Well, we could, we could check. Um, it's 1280 by 720. So we need to a resolution that is uh, presumably. Um, a multiple of that. So if we're going to go 800 over 1280 times 720, so we actually want 800 by 450. I'm beginning to regret my life. Okay, but anyway. And God, why does this thing have no handles? Because I guess I decided um, it, it's actually easier to have no handles in my original. Oh crap! You can't even go back to from full screen. Um, it's in my FBWM uh, RC2, that's why. No, it's not. Huh. Um, actually, there, it's probably in config FBWM. Crap, crap. What the hell? Um, there's some place where I tell it to give Faye no handles. I think. I'm confused. All right. I might actually just... You know, Wow. Um, I mean, by default, everything should have handles. Everything should have window handles. Why is FBWM treating this thing specifically weird? Handles. Okay. Um, well, if it doesn't, oh, we can still move it around using the uh, this. It's just really, really ugly that it doesn't have handles. Partly because it's kind of hard to tell where the window freaking ends. Um, okay. I think this is going to be good enough to... I don't know why I'm saying that. There's a way to get rid of the captions, too. There's a way to get, get it so the captions don't show up. Um, So this is not great. Um, all right, let's go ahead and give this a kind of. A sh I'm not even sure I want to do this now. I, I'm, I'm all weepy. All right, so frame one, um, and we can convert frames to to uh, like seconds and stuff later. Um, okay. So we're talking about dump files here. We're still we're still into that. Um, oh, 
dear. <laughs> I like the, this. Is like one frame of oh dear. Um. Um. God damn, this is. I burned quite a few. I guess there's 913 frames, so this isn't really as bad as it looks. Um. I'm trying to get to the end of this so we can we can put a. Why is there music in my stream? I have no idea. There's other music in there. Okay. You know, maybe I shouldn't even be looking at myself talk. This is kind of weird. I might be going through this too slowly because at this rate it's going to take me forever. Um. Oh, I figured it out. Um. I guess I should put a description here. Um. And then we'll try to close it out. I mean, I should really go through these faster until I notice we're clearly not in it. Um. Okay, I think I've gone to something else now. Maybe. <coughs> oh, actually, I did. I did. Um, I did change the the. Um, Um, okay, so I think actually I did, I did change course here somewhere. Um, okay, dump save, so we're still very much into this. Uh, no, maybe we're not, hang on. Um, okay, we're definitely... Yeah, this this is not going to make it. This is does make it nicer. It is it is really nice, but it does not do what I need it to do. Um, uh, I do no no no. I'm not even going to use it because I. I guess maybe I should actually look at what this is. I'm not really happy with this. This the qu quality should be higher here. Um, in fact, I should be able to get inf let me get some information on this. Um, Twelve eighty by seven twenty, and this is the resolution. Motherfucker. The only thing I think I might have done here is auto scale down, which is um, I can't can't um. Okay, and if you zoom into an well, zoom into an image, you can you know get around in it, but um. You know this is bad. Um, why am I not? If this is really a seven, uh, this is a high. You know what? Let's just look at image seventy-one by itself. Uh, so something weird is happening here. Wow. Um. I was uh, maybe this is the font really was too small, and I shouldn't have been using it. But anyway. Okay, so this this clearly. Um, is is going to be a pit of a nightmare of a hell. Um, so this is going to take a lot longer than I thought to even get one video sort of indexed properly. Um, but it's cool that I set up a process to do something that I'm not going to do. I mean, that is sort of the ultimate goal in life is to do that. Um, and I've gone for just over two hours, so I'm going to stop now 
every time I do this, I say I'm going to come back later in the day, and I don't, but uh, I would really like to look at occultations again, and this time not occultations by the moon, but by other planets and asteroids of, of bright stars. Because the cool thing is, even if the front object is invisible, if it covers something that's visible, it's a pretty cool, it's like an invisible occultation. Okay, thank you for watching the stream, and I really, really want to be back in a couple of hours. But stopping for now.